for seven years, full seven years before I replaced it with a brand new one. Um, I needed new blades and other things, but I was so happy with my last one. I bought exactly the same model from Earthwise. This is the model that I own. What do I use it for? What don't I use it for? I trim all the trees in my yard with it because I can raise it adjustably over nine feet over my head. I'm already over six feet tall. That means I can reach branches that are 15 feet in the air, even taller because my, with my arms extended, I get another three feet. You can angle and articulate the, the top of it so that you can use the weight of the saw to take the branches down. Do not wait until a storm hits and you got branches hanging over your house. You can use this to cut firewood. It is so easy to use. And what most people love is that the saw, and by the way, uh, this is a 10 inch bar and chain. So you can cut wood that's as big as that chain. So if you've got, you know, logs that are that big, you can get through it with this. This is the chain right here that will spin inside. Okay. Right here. This is the only thing you do when you get it. I'm going to put this down a little bit, Rebecca, so I can show everybody. When you get it, you will get a little bottle of oil. It's a bar and chain oil. You will open up this little top just like that. Oops. And you will pour the oil in. You see, mine's already full. I don't know if you could see inside there. There's oil in there. There, you can see it right there. That you have to replace about, I don't know, every 10 times that you use it. But you'll, you see the little window right there will tell you when it gets low. What that oil does, and it's, it's integral to the, to the machine, it lubricates the chain, which means it'll run nice and smooth. That is all you need to do. Other than that, you plug this end in. I'm going to flip it around a little easier for me to handle because I'm right-handed. You plug this end in. My hand is here. All right, I'm holding it here. Look at how far away I am from the blade. You don't have that danger of worrying about that. I can articulate the head in any direction. So if I want to get, and I, I don't know how, if, uh, Rebecca, you guys can go up real high. Oh, by the way, I can extend it. Look at this. I can extend the, the, uh, the pole as well. Make sure I got it tight. Oh, I just knocked my candles over. So if I want extra extension, I can extend it there or here. So I can go way, way up. I don't know how high you can see I am. I am way, way up. I'm not even in the shot there. So if I need to get a branch that's far away, I could do that as well. Um, before Pete comes out, let me tell you why you buy it today. It is $89 every day of the week. I paid more with my discount for my last saw. We are doing a special. I have 1,200 remaining. I do not have 1,200 remaining. I have 975 remaining for everybody that can get it. With an HSN credit card, it'll be $29.95 because you'll get $40 in your account today. Buy it, even if you only use it two or three times a year. And let me tell you, you will use it much more than that. I'm going to get a drink of water, and I'm going to hand it over to Pete Kilcullen. Where do you see Pete's demonstrations? Peter, I don't know how, how I ever lived without my pole saw before. I love it. Yeah, I know a guy, and we talk about it all the time, why it's so great and why right now, you know, moving into fall, well, I guess we're in fall now, it's so important to have this, as you mentioned, because of the storms, and everyone out there can handle this. I mean, this is the perfect pole saw designed by Earthwise, and again, it's because of the weight, nine pounds, so you can handle it, and because it extends over nine feet, three inches, but let me show you the cut and why I know that everyone can do this because there's absolutely no reason to be intimidated. You mentioned the first thing is when I'm using this, I'm way back here, away from that bar and chain. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on and then just lay this down on the limb and just let it work its way through. That's nice and easy. You know what's neat about that is I'll do one real quick again. Watch the whole motor, watch what's happening. There isn't a tremendous amount of vibration. You're not holding on super tight. It is a nice, easy glide through that limb. Just like that, let it do its thing. Now, I'm just doing this in front of me, and that might be how you might use this for firewood if it's down on the ground, but why it's important for that to be such a nice, smooth cut is because when you're holding this up overhead, you're gonna wanna put this at a 45 degree angle, but you're gonna rest it on the limb and let it work its way through. So all this means that you can do this. So you're looking around the house and you might see maybe the front doorway of your house, the trees are starting to enclose that a little bit, you can cut them back. If you have trees over the driveway and the branches are hanging down, you can cut those back because the storms, ice and snow and rainstorms this winter, you're gonna be prepared and you can do it all yourself. The nine pounds is great. We have a fiberglass um, outer pole, which is gonna really dampen any vibration. We have that cushion grip right there. You know what, guy? I'm gonna go right to this because I think it's super important. The safety switch. So we have that large trigger right there. That's all you have to do is pull that trigger, but you can't activate it 
unless you first activate that safety switch. Safety switch, then turn on the saw. If you let go, everything stops, and it makes you again go back to that safety switch. So I think that's great. The first time you're using it, you can feel comfortable, because remember, I'll turn it on. As soon as I let go, everything stops, and I need to go back to that safety. So safety, it's lightweight, lightweight. This is the perfect saw for everyone who's never tried either a pole saw or a handheld chainsaw. This is the one you want, guy. Yeah, it really is. You know, and I think that's everybody's issue, Peter, is they get nervous. I have used a full-size chainsaw, you know, those big McCullough jo jobbies. I, I actually helped some friends out in Tennessee uh, when some trees came down on their barn and I was up on a roof and I had a handheld chainsaw. And I'll tell you, it, it's a little sketchy up there, all right? But with, with my pole saw, I never <laughs> sure. even think about it. I never worry about it. I extend it to whatever length I need and I just pull the trigger. And I know it always works. Every neighbor that I have that sees me outside using it because I use it on the palm fronds are like, where did you get that? That is brilliant. I'm just like, hey, I'll come to your, I love doing it so much. I do their yard for free. I just want to be a nice guy. So I go over there and I help them out. Um, what I love too, Peter, is the fact that you, since you do have a, a 10 inch uh, bar and chain on here, you can actually do a right. lot of uh, jobs uh, outside of just branches. If you want to cut firewood, if you want to cut two by fours, regular Oops. wood projects, you can utilize a chainsaw uh, to be able to do that. Uh, having that head that moves is really important because most of the weight of the chainsaw is here. So if you are, if you have it up in the air and you put it on a branch down here, you let the weight of the saw actually do all the work for you. That will articulate in either direction. So if you've got a tough angle, you can get it up, the, up there as well. Um, if you've never owned one, let me just tell you to get it. Lucy loves it. Lucy's sitting right back here. She loves the chainsaw, although she says, please don't cut down my tree. It's full of nuts. Don't worry, we're not going to cut any trees down. Down. We're just cleaning them up and making them nice for you. And that's what you're doing. And Peter, you're doing it yourself. I don't know about you, Pete, but I know if I hire a guy to come out and trim trees, it's you, it's a minimum 150 and it's $50 a, a tree for like our palm trees. I mean, it's ridiculous. You could do it yourself. Yeah, exactly. I find that what's nice about having a pole saw like this is the branches that really kind of annoy you the most or could cause the damage are the ones closest to the ground. So if they're 10, 11, 12 feet, you're going to be able to do this. Check this out. I'm going to rest it on the ground and you can see it fully extended now. So that's nine feet, three inches. So as you mentioned earlier, so I'm just over six feet tall as well. So when I now pick this up, we're really talking about 12, 13 feet in the air that I'm able to extend this. And then you mentioned that articulating head. This is the only pole saw that we have that does that. The reason we can do that or why it's so great is that once again, as I'm reaching this out, I can find the perfect